Hi everyone, my name is Sam. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe and hit that bell icon so you get notification every time I post a new video. This will also help me grow my channel and it will reach out to a much larger audience. Also, please uh, check out my channel. I created some other related content related to ChatGPT. Uh, some of them is related to Excel, some of them is related to Microsoft Word, so you can check it out. It could be very helpful to you. In this video, I'll show you how you can use ChatGPT to paraphrase an article. So there are two ways to do this. One, uh, you don't have to uh, actually uh, copy and paste the article. You can just give it a link of the article that you want to paraphrase, and then ChatGPT will go to that website, uh, get the information, and then uh, uh, kind of explain it to you. So this is the website from Forbes where it says why robots are uh, while robots are taking over the world, and that's a good thing. So it's, it's a pretty big article, but instead of copy and pasting the article, I'll just go to ChatGPT and tell them like, hey, uh, can you uh, uh, paraphrase this article for me? And then I'll give it the link of the article. So what ChatGPT will do is go to the article and then Kind of paraphrase it and see how it goes so it goes on to i actually read the article i know what the article is about so let's see what ChatGPT think what the article is about it's kind of paraphrasing and i want to see how long uh the paraphrase is going to be how long okay so it's pretty good it seems like a one paragraph uh so let's read it through it says this article discusses how the increasing use of robots in various industries is leading to increased efficiency and productivity very true that is what ex is explained in the article, the author argues that this trend, uh, this trend is a positive development and that robots can help to improve our lives in various ways, such as by uh, such as by taking on dan uh, dangerous and tedious tasks, increasing accuracy, and reducing labor costs. Uh, very true. If you have seen uh, some of my other videos, I did discuss that how robots uh, are going to, I think it's the top 10 videos where you see how uh, but, uh, in 2023 tens, we will see a lot of robots in the future. Uh, so if you have not seen that video, please check it out. So very true. And however, the author also uh, note that there are concern about the potential for job loss and then need uh, for proper regulation oversight to ensure the robots are uh, used ethically and, and uh, responsibly. And that is very true because robots are pretty new and they are been in use for a while but not in on this scale so the laws are kind of vague and uh, i think congress uh, needs to do some more uh, soul searching and create laws that are more strict okay so uh, thus yeah that is very true this is sort of the paraphrasing of the entire article the article does talk about all these things but the uh, chat gpt is kind of paraphrasing it Okay, let's do, so this is another article from uh, uh, Smithsonian Magazine, uh, and it talks about the Mars. Uh, so it says life on Mars. Um, this one, what I'm going to do is instead of copy and pasting the link, I'll just try to uh, copy and paste the text and see how that works. So what I'll do is uh, copy, let's see, copy and paste this and yeah, I'll just uh, paste this. I'm not, I'm not going to paste the entire paragraph. So let's say, uh, error, paste this uh, article for me. Okay. I like to put the uh, stuff in a quotation mark because it helps. Uh, you don't have to do it, but it does help. Uh, uh, ChatGPT knows what the information is when you put a quotation mark and it kind of goes through it and uh, process it and give you whatever output you're supposed to get. So let's see. So this article, it says that this article is about the announcement made by NASA uh, scientists in 1996 that they had found sign of life in uh, Metroid from Mars, the rock called ALH 8401 had a, a peculiar chemical makeup that on Earth is created by microbes and also contain crystals of magnetic iron iron oxide, which uh, some bacteria produce. The announcement was met with skepticism, uh, with some scientists saying that the evidence was not conclusive. 
uh, over the past nine years, the scientists have scrutinized the meteorite, and today we believe that it harbored uh, um, Martian macro microbes. The controversy has prompted scientists to ask how they can know whether some blob, crystal, or chemical RDT is a sign of life even on Earth. So NASA researchers are taking lessons from the debate about life on Earth on Mars. They plan to send a new generation rovers, uh, generation of rovers to Mars within the next decade to detect individual molecules uh, made by Martian organisms, either living or uh, long dead. Actually, yes, the article sort of kind of talks about all that stuff that NASA is preparing to send more uh, rovers. Rovers are sort of like a small machines, or uh, you can say that small cars or something, which are equipped with mostly uh, 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 sample gathering technique and, and they can also process information, process things there. Uh, so they just walk around Mars sort of, well, run around Mars so, sort of, and then uh, collect different samples across Mars. So that's what they're talking about. Okay, so what also we can do is, uh, this part was to how to paraphrase an article. Now, let's see if it actually checks for plagiarism. So um, so just assume that uh, you are uh, writing a paper on something and then you kind of want to run a plagiarism check. So I'm not gonna, going to have like uh, write a paper myself. I'm just going to copy and paste this art article and then we're like, hey, uh, check for, uh, plagiarism uh, in this article. So if you are writing a paper, you can just copy and paste your paper here. Let's see. Uh, now, uh, ChatGPT is processing the information. I'm unable to check for plagiarism as my training data is vast and I cannot compare your text with all the text that I have seen. Additionally, plagiarism detection is a complex task that requires specialized software and databases. I recommend using online plagiarism checker tool. Okay, so it does not let you uh, check for plagiarism, but it is uh, paraphrasing an article for you, which is kind of helpful. Uh, if you, um, I don't know if it actually uh, paraphrased a book for you, if you know the name of the book. I don't know any names of any books or they don't come uh, on top of my head right now, but I'll probably make a video on this on how if uh, I give a name of a book or ISBN number or something like that, uh, I, I wonder if they can, if the bot can uh, can sort of paraphrase it for me, and I can find out if the information was well. Uh, I'll see if I can get a cliff note of all those books or something like that. So I'll create a separate video for this. But this one, you as you can see, that it is a very powerful tool where you can actually check for uh paraf you can paraphrase an article you don't have to read it you can just say hey can we paraphrase this article you can either copy and paste it or give it a link of the article so if i give you a link of this article uh let's see uh, see see i can just say uh paraphrase this article Let's see, if I give a link of this article, see if the paraphrasing is sort of similar. Okay. Also, oh, because the possibility of life on Mars and surface today is harsh, barren, but scientists have found evidence this plant has one been hostile environment and the include the presence of liquid water that is essential for life as well as sign of planet atmosphere. Uh, was once thicker and warm. However, it's not clear if the life ever existed on Mars, past or present. Scientists are currently looking looking for evidence of past and uh, microbial life on Mars by analyzing samples from planet surface and look for. Uh, okay, so it uh, this is kind of similar to what this is uh, because this was less information. It did not include the entire article, so that's why this one is more, and it talks about more things. Uh, some of them might be contradicting what this is, but that's because the information in this one is different than this one. This one contains the entire article, but this is sort of what the article is talking about. So I think ChatGPT could be used uh, in a good way, well, in a positive way if you want to... You have to read a bunch of articles and uh, you can't do it for whatever reason and you want to know what the uh, 
theme is across the article or just want to know the cliff notes, you can just tell ChatGPT like, hey, can you paraphrase this for me? And uh, you will get the answer in like a paragraph or two that could be very helpful. So this is it for this video. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, it does very help when you subscribe. Uh, and please hit that bell icon. Uh, so you get notification every time I post a new video. Also, please like this video if it was helpful to you. It helps with the YouTube algorithm. Uh, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.